This is Bamboo. She's a baby olive baboon. I was coming home from the grocery store one night when I saw five young boys tormenting this poor little animal inside of a cage. This was only three days after I got her. This animal was beautiful. The experiences that I had with her were unforgettable and, well, other than this video, undescribable. She was absolutely a wild animal, but she was very young and she needed some guidance. And that's why I was there. This is great. She wouldn't trust to eat the cashew until I ate one. Couple quick sniffs of my breath. And that's all it took. She trusted to eat it after that. I had her for seven days total. And aside from the first day, which I wasn't really sure how to deal with her yet because she was a little bit traumatized uh, I decided the first day that I would just interact with her in the cage the next day I took her to an empty apartment room where I locked myself and her in there for 10 to 12 hours a day she was so clever she learned to do things extremely fast, like hitting this balloon back and forth. After some time, she would come down and take some food, and I would throw the balloon up on the top shelf. She would actually go up and knock it down for me. As you can see though, she's a monkey, and she could get into everything, and she did. She made a mess of everything she touched. But in her natural habitat, which is the jungle, well, nothing would get messed up because it's a mess anyway. So there was no need for her to be concerned about what she was doing to anything. And I personally didn't care. She went to the bathroom, urinated and peed and pooped on everything, including me. That's why I'm wearing a towel around my lap, because the first couple days, well, Let's just say it, I smelled pretty bad. And the truth is, uh, as much as she made a mess, she didn't smell at all. She smelled great. She kept herself really clean. She was smart where she made her mess. Look at that little hand. It wasn't easy keeping her busy. But as you can see, climbing up on top of my chair and playing with plastic bowls and eating lots of food, she kept entertained, and I definitely was. I for sure had my hands full, but every minute of it was joyful. It's too often that we forget that we're not so significant on this planet if we can't take the time to think of all the other living creatures. And this little animal did just that for me. She reminded me for seven days straight that my little problems are nothing. And that she went from being abused and pretty much terrified to trusting me very much so within only seven days. It's very important to understand that although she's cute and she was absolutely intelligent and beautiful, she is a baboon. And what does that mean? It means she's 
very capable of hurting someone. And um, she has no reason not to hurt someone. She has survival skills. And uh, she bit me many times, mostly as a warning. Once pretty good, but that was my fault. And I deserved every single time as I was invading her space. But as you can see, she loosened up so much and she really became like a daughter. I mean, I, I was treating her as if she was my own. And for those days, she was. She was beautiful and I fell in love with her. And as you can see by this part of the clip, she was so gentle. This went on for a long time and every day she would take the time to clean me and I would clean her. And there was a, such a great level of respect or understanding or I don't know what you call it, but it was amazing. So don't get a wild animal unless it absolutely needs something better than where it came from. This was not an attempt to have a pet or even to show others that I could have a pet. That was never my intention. The intention was to take her away from a worse situation and find her a better one. And that's what I did. She was there for me. I was there for her. It was quite possibly one of the best weeks I can remember in a long time. Hopefully I'll go back to see her sometime soon. But in the meantime, I'll trust that she's happy with the other little baboon that she's with right now. Almost the same size as her. And now they're growing up together, learning their atmosphere and surroundings. And I can only hope that she's having a great life. At this point, she was pretty much treating me like her mom. She was so gentle, even when checking around my eyelids or my nose and my ears. You would think that she would rip my earrings out like they were some kind of toy, but she understood that they were mine and that they weren't for her to play with. One thing's for sure, I didn't have any bugs that week. <laughs>